that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us. Now, let this sink in for just a second. The desire of the Lord is that we may be one in Him, just as He is one with His good Father and the Holy Spirit. The same level of union and love and participation in each other's lives that exists between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is exactly what God has as a desire for us with Him. This is, this is mind-blowing. Imagine the level of intimacy that we are being called to. Imagine the level of love that we are called to. This is precisely His desire. He continues and He says, that the world may believe that you sent me, and the glory which you gave me I have given to them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them and you in me. This is the God that we believe in, a God that has loved us so much that He desires union with us, that He even gives us the freedom to freely reject Him. But for those of us who accept Him, who call Him our Lord, our Savior, our Beloved, our Bridegroom, those of us who call Him our Beloved, then He is willing to share all that He is with us. A real calling to relationship with God. Now, when we continue this conversation, we begin to very quickly realize that as we are being called to relationship, there is a knowledge there of the one true God that we are supposed to have. And this knowledge is not just head data. It's not simply information that we store at the level of our memory, the same way that a person can study for an exam, memorize all the ge geographical points on, on the map, or memorize all of the different body parts if you're studying biology. No, it's not simply memorization and head knowledge. Here we are talking about a knowledge that is much more intimate. Listen to what St. Cyril of Alexandria has to say. He says, Our Lord Jesus Christ then, knowing that the knowledge of the one true God brings to us and promotes our union. He asks then for the bond of love and agreement and peace to bring the believers together in spiritual unity so that they may imitate the imprint of the natural and essential unity that we see in the Father and the Son. It, it, it's incredible to consider the possibility that the same level of union that exists between the Father and the Son is the same level of union that the Lord desires to have with us. Remember that when we speak of the union that exists in the Holy Trinity, we call it a mystery because it's so unfathomable. It, it's so difficult for us to understand how is He Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one, although they are also three hypostases, there is one in essence and unity that exists among them, and this is the unity that He desires to have with us. This is the mystery of the love that God has for creation. This is why St. Cyril is saying that his desire is that we may imitate the imprint of the natural and essential unity that we see in the Father and in the Son. And this unity is based on real knowledge. Remember, when the Lord is praying and he says that they may know you, this idea of knowing God is not one that is superficial, but rather is very intimate. The word knowledge was always used in Scripture to be able to point to something that is much deeper than simply superficial knowledge. As a matter of fact, when we read in the book of Genesis and even anywhere else in the New Testament, whenever the word knowledge here is said between a husband and a wife, what are we talking about? We're talking about the greatest expression of intimacy. In Genesis chapter 4, we read, Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. What is this idea of he knew Eve, his wife? This knowledge of Eve was one that was clearly very intimate. They're talking about the sexual expression of love, an act that is so intimate and that unites both people to a point where they know each other inside out, where that knowledge leads to a place where there can be life in between them. This is why he knew his wife Eve and she conceived and bore a son. That love, which brings about knowledge, can then bring about life. And this is exactly what the Lord desires for us, that we may love Him and know Him and that He may be able to grant us real life in our beings. 